The landscapes that Monet painted in Argentois during the 1870s are considered the high point of Impressionism. When Monet moved to Argentois in December of 1871, just after the Franco-Prussian War, it was a growing suburb west of Paris, just 15 minutes by rail. The present painting is the largest in an important group of four closely related canvases that Monet produced in the spring or summer of 1872, just months after his arrival in Argentois. On the right are chestnut trees that lend shade and grandeur to the riverbank, and on the left is the Ile Marant, which is a slender island that divides the Seine into two. In the distance, you see a turreted Louis VIII-style manor house that was built the previous year by Emile Michelet, who was a wealthy Parisian banker. And flanking Michelet's house are a pair of smokestacks and several low factory buildings. The various canvases in the group were painted at different times of the day and different weather conditions, allowing Monet to experience a range of lighting effects. Here he depicts our painting in richly colored late afternoon glow. The sky and the water streaked with pale orange and pink, and the trees rustle in the faintest breeze. The triangular reflections of the sailboat and the chateau stretch across the placid glass-like waters, while the entire scene is unified and enlivened by Monet's broken and vibrating brushstrokes. Argentoy exemplified everything one might want from suburban living.